Ladies and horror fans, welcome to yet another cozy little indie horror let's play on this channel. Today we'll play through a game called Trenches. 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 Trenches is a first-person World War I survival horror game where you have to escape the claustrophobic environment and experience the war from the eyes of a soldier caught behind enemy lines in this surreal nightmare as you fight for your life and sanity to get back to back home to your family. This is all one sentence. So without much further ado, I feel it is quite time for us to get into the trenches ourselves. And for that purpose, we have to jump right E. Trenches, 1917. I used to love hearing those sounds. My wife's beautiful humming, my children calling me daddy, and the sweet music playing on our phonograph. But hearing those sounds now stirs up altogether new feelings, while I am only surrounded by tragedy and dead bodies. Is that a real picture from World War One? Yay, war! A soldier doesn't fight because he hates what's in front of him. He fights because he loves what... Uh, I couldn't read. <laughs> it's always the same joke in every game. Somewhere in the trenches, 1917. We are in the trenches indeed. And it, it is a beautiful sight to behold. Maybe a little bit loud. I think it's the music that is still loud. Space bar. Wait, do I have a whistle on me? I think I just whistled. Hide. Okay, first off, I think I exaggerated when I moved the mouse sensitivity up. I think originally was on two. Sorry, I mean on two. Let's see if that's okay. Yeah, that is quite okay. Herzlich willkommen! Escape the trenches and find some... Find what is going on. Find out. And find in what is going on. The, the blinking is very confusing. My name is uh, Jur Tommy Allen. I'm a member of the 3rd U-Troop Platoon that under the orders of our platoon commander, we were sent out to clear out the trenches. We have been called out on air alarms, air alarms raids the last few days and holding up here. We lost four of our men from our squad and many more from our platoon. We dragged the wounded men here, but they did not make it. We wrapped them up in sheets with the little we got and we'll bury them once we start to dig up. We wrap them in sheets with the little we got. The radio and our limited amount of ammo is the only dope. <laughs> oh no. He wrote dope instead of hope. Bastards are what they are with their savage killings, sneaking up at night and such wrong methods of a clean fight. We thought this was bad until we saw a couple of them eating a corpse of what I assume is a woman caught up or taken in the trenches. What I saw I will never forget and I will hunt me and will hunt me till the day I die. This is why I'm writing this letter to be cautious and spare a bullet in your pocket. So if you are ever caught, then shoot yourself in the head instead. If anyone from our platoon reads this, you have to get out of the, out from the trenches. As the enemy knows we are here, hide from the enemy and get out. I hope to pull through all safe by the help of God if there is one. Listen, I'm reading it as it is written, okay? I'm, it's not my job to correct it. I'm not even a native English speaker, so I could only make it worse. 
decapitated and the decomposed soldier hanging from the waist while wearing a skirt done as a humiliation before being executed or desertion. Desertion. Nice. Humiliating people before killing them is tight. The door is locked. Okay, we need a key. Okay, these people have already arrived at their uh, final destination. Why is everyone wearing the same glasses? Wait, are those eyes? That is not normal. I did not know what to expect. I was never afraid going to war. We all signed up like it was nothing. And now here I am stuck with no way out. Injured and sobbing as I write this letter. I keep hearing things in the trenches and seeing things. I am not sure what is real and what is not. God help me. I hear footsteps. Are they real? I hear cries and the voice of my mother speaking to me and saying how I am always a failure even though she died when I was a kid. I hear my daughter speaking to me and she's not here. Maybe it's all in my head. Are these real or not? What is she doing here? Why? I feel like I'm going crazy. I also see things. I see shadows. I see my mother peeking at me. I see my daughter running away from me. She don't want to hug me. <laughs> but I loved her. I did this for her. Is this maybe the end for me? Is this what it feels like? A few of us are all up here and it feels like we are all... We, a few of us are holded up here. And it feels like we are all waiting for our turn. Some are looking at photos, other are, others are writing notes. Some gave up while others kept on going. I can't go on any further. I hear footsteps again. Are they real or not? Um, <laughs> I guess we found out. I guess that was his final note before finding out. On the level of 10. Maximum find out level. So we need to find a key somewhere. We can. Oh, we got another letter. What is that? Put away. Oh, yeah, this is how I put away things, too. How to survive if left alone or injured in a battle. Crouch and stay low so enemies won't hear you. Hide under bunk beds or narrow spaces to stay safe. Stay safe. Don't run or you will make noise. Run only when necessary. Be careful when walking on a wooden surface since it makes loud noise. You can cause a distraction by throwing objects like bottles. Mind your stamina. If you get tired, you cannot run enemies. The enemy can hear you breathing. Hold your breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If enemy is running, it means they are alerted. You should run too. Use your trench whistle if you're lost and follow the sound. But be careful because enemies can hear the whistle too. Be careful of your surroundings. Try to escape to a safe allies location and do not lead any enemies. Don't lead them. Don't become the general of the enemies and lead them in war. General U Indra, thanks for your service. And also... Mm -hmm. U Indra. Alright, we gotta get a key and then come back here, huh? Stay low. Okay, you're crouching. Okay, we got a toggle crouch. If we run, we make noise. What are those pants? Boy, am I glad I put the graphics on maximum in this game. This is where it really shines. <laughs> Shines like a cheap piece of glass that got hit by the sunlight. But those are my steps. Maybe this is some. These are some resources. It's just. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Sandbags? Oh, a doll. Ah, yeah, that is normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely completely normal to find this here. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if somebody's here. Hello! 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 
Is there anyone here? Here? Hello? Hello? I think we're safe. Whew. I was getting excited for a moment, but turns out we're completely safe. So we can use the trench whistle if we're lost, but they can hear us too. And I'm going to assume it's not humans that can hear us. What's with those shoes? some forks in it and the brain is out. Somebody felt a little bit peckish. Air ev evacuation nurse, Lieutenant Patricia Lvaski. Evacuation nurse, Sergeant Anne Portelli. And I guess this is one of them. The one that didn't make it. Oh, they put the, the torso in a bag, maybe. Weird. Anyhow, I got the key, so let's go back. I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen on our way back. Is breathing behind you? Yeah, no, no. No, I mean, that, mean, that means don't look... I don't want to turn around. Oh, hi! Oh, you followed me. I saw that. Hi. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Nice. We got dollies in this game as well. Gotta have them in all my games. I need to have little dolls in every game. And to calm down, I play with them. Sit in the corner and do this and play with the dolls. <laughs> I hope this is not like the toxic gas. Game could be a little bit louder. You have been warned. The jump scare is gonna blast you us clean from the chairs. Okay, here we are. Why is there a... Oh, it's just open, so I guess that's why there's smoke inside. Snoop Dogg must be somewhere. Smoking a blunt. Wait, the doll is here too? Okay, I think I've, I've looked enough at the doll. Uh, okay, we already read this. It's, the letter is still the same. Can we get like the lamp maybe? The phonograph. What a crazy technology. Is that an intestine? It's like the same little part of the intestine copy pasted all over the floor. Collect the strange fetus doll clues. That is a little bit too real for my taste. Use trench a whistle and follow the cries. Follow the cry to freedom, to not freedom. Find nine, use whistle to make it cry louder. Footsteps run, it mimic voices. No ASMR, no, no arms. <gasps> Wait, I think I've seen this picture before. This is like some creepy pasta or something. Okay, use the trench whistle. It's very, it's very far away. Use whistle, follow the sound of cries if lost, but it can hear the whistle too. Whistle plus ear means uh, the monster. It means the monster. I came from this direction. Is 
Okay, if there's a thing walking around here, then it should make footsteps. Ah! <laughs> Hello. Okay, welcome to Jump Scare City. Where the jump is scared. Was that like his daughter? Is it like him that wrote the letters? Oh, we can actually see the doll through the... Shh. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Steps on wood are loud, but I think we're far enough. Is it coming? Something was following us. Can't tell. You have to hide to get into cover, and you have to hide to get out of it. I hide. Hortaya Sharmanyash. Somewhere over there. Okay, the thing is coming now, and I'm gonna go. I think the baby is somewhere over there. God damn it with this. Yeah, stop it with this crap! <sighs> the jump scare simulator. The thing is still coming, it sounds like it's coming closer. is following the butler and not my ah, yeah. it's following my footsteps I think it lost me you got to see the baby you just gotta see it you gotta see it and then when you see it you have to pretend it's not disgusting but he's running, uh, he's fall- oh, shit. Need to hide somewhere. Wait, is this repeating? Ah, oh, yeah! <sighs> Stupid baby. <sighs> Stupid over there. Why is it, is it always following me? Son of a pig. It's a bamb. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw something in the in the rain. In the rain smoke. In the smoke rain. Why is it always following me? Can it just go somewhere else? Bother somebody else. I can't find a hiding spot. I'm just gonna get killed here.
I don't want to lose all this progress. I got the three babies. It's some nice trenches. It's full of dead ends. Do we follow the, this guy here? The head? There we go. Alright, let's see if I burn my tongue again with the hot tea like yesterday. No, it's fine. Can't tell if it's coming or not. It sounds like it's always out and about. Judas. Judas! Executions for desertion. A deserter executed and being hanged to remind others that abandonment is a crime punishable by death. With deserter, I mean the people that eat dessert. It's forbidden. You can't have dessert. There's already enough enough food. You get executed for having dessert. Okay, that's the, the guy executed. I kind of want to use the whistle. I mean, I don't want to use it, but... Let's see. It's over there. But the thing is running. The thing a magic. You gotta run this way. It's following me. I don't want to get caught by that thing. Is that the baby or something crazy? Get it? Loud is funny. <laughs> it's so funny. Especially when your eardrums bleed. Then it's funny, but not for you. It's funny for others. <laughs> it's hilarious. Where's the stupid baby? I think I heard it over here. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, yeah. The stupid baby. I just had to see it. No, I didn't wanna. I didn't wanna whistle, I just hit spacebar. Because I'm an idiot. I made the game a little bit louder, you have been warned. You get one warning and then you're deaf forever. I can tell the doctor you watched the wrong video. He deafened me as a joke. <sighs> what if I keep going this way? I think it. Oh! Ooh la la! What? What was this noise? A low resolution naked lady statue. I would have thought I find that in the trenches. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you very much. I don't need. To, I don't need to wait until you turn around. <sighs> We're gonna have to whistle again. We need nine babies. What the hell is that? You follow that thing or go 
going to the opposite direction. <laughs> the thing is running. The thing from another world. Okay, let's use the whistle. Over there. Sounds like he's coming from there. I don't like that. It's running again. You're cheating. I'm sneaking on this floor and he just hears me. I think I went the wrong way. Oh. Got the baby. Got the baby. Oh. Weird baby. Psycho baby, shut up. Let's avoid the floor. I mean, let's avoid the, the wooden... The planks. There's not many hiding spots, huh? Somewhere. Going in the wrong direction. I almost cursed in Swiss German. I don't think he would have survived. I'm just gonna go here and chill for a second, okay? Oh! Wait, is, was that the thing that is chasing us? It's invisible, but it can look in when it finds, when, when, I don't know, when it walks past you. Okay, I'm thinking that I can't even go there. Fortunately, orientate ourselves here. I have no clue where the baby is. I didn't even hear it. I must be very far away from it. Screw that guy. Gonna go this way. Sounds like it's coming very close. Close, but no cigar. What is this? Oh man, I got a whistle again. This is mad. 
than this. No, thank you. It's actually coming closer. Oh, there. Oh, I can finally see it. It's not invisible. It's a giant thing. It's a camper from Counter-Strike. It camps me. Okay, let's wait until he leaves. I think we have to go. I, I have no idea. So we established the thing is not invisible, it is some tall creature that roams these trenches. I can't hear it at all. Nine feet of dolls. Oh, the door is just a wall now. Well, that's great. After I whistled. from over there. It's going to where I whistled. It's not coming towards me. Whew. It's got to be on the left side somewhere in this direction. We got to see lots of babies today. Hot diggity dog. Too many babies to shake a stick at. Oh, Yama. Oh, this is the map. Picked up item. How do we use it? Oh. But the thing is still walking around. behind me. I hate this. The anxiety simulator. Sheesh. And also Chang. Nice. Yeah, that's what I came for. I came for the jump scare or left in a coffin? <laughs> left coffin in a coffin. Gotta use the whistle again. That direction. Let's not walk over the planks. Oh, I can hear it. Psycho baby! Oh, Yama, you stupid cow! Cute baby crying, yeah. A cutie. P Got the babies. On October 11, 1917, nine members from the 3rd U Troop platoon were ordered by the commander to advance forward and clear out the enemy trenches. 
The mission was unsuccessful after they were ambushed and trapped. Over the course of several days, it is known that the platoon was holding up in a small wooden bunker. Some of them were shot while others were captured and tortured. Out of nine soldiers that were sent out, only one made it out alive. James R. Johnson, a member of the third uh, U Troop platoon, survived the attack and was badly injured. He managed to do that by sneaking through the trenches and hiding inside from the enemy soldiers. He, as states, was on the blink of death at a point where he was hallucinating and also hearing his wife singing and children voices. He managed to pull through and finally escape to the trenches on October 17, 1917. He saw horrors that will hunt him till this day. I saw horrors that will hunt. Oh no, I saw horrors that uh, night. I kept hearing cries, but all I saw was dead bodies. I cried and screamed when I saw my fellow brothers deceased in front of me, and I could not do anything to save them. During those times, I didn't see the end of the war. I only saw the end of war when I was on the blink of death. <laughs> <laughs> But I somehow managed to survive that, and I couldn't read again. James R. Robertson was united with his family after the end of the war. James and his wife Jennifer were living back to their old house where they grew up along with their now seven-year-old daughter Jessica and 18-month-old son Charles. The family mostly kept to themselves in the quiet neighborhood, working in a small clothing shop, especially given James an exclusive and antisocial behavior after his return, however filled uh, with guilt and far from being a normal husband and loving father, again due to horrors he encountered, James murdered his wife, daughter, and son. And right after he shot himself in the head on a Sunday morning. <laughs> what a great guy! It is said that James was hallucination. James was hallucination and hearing voices at the time of the murder. Local authorities came in the disturbing scene. They came in the scene. To find the bodies of the family, they just came, and I couldn't read! Was this actually a true story? I mean, that could have been a real picture from, uh, from back then. 